And it's really interesting you now that I think about it that, I mean, there's like best sound editing, best sound mixing. I have, I know, I have, no, I have no knowledge of these areas, but I mean, these are really people who are at the peak level of their profession for yeah. doing these things. And because I don't understand the process, I can't really pick up on when it's done. I, I just understand. I think I understand it in a way that doesn't sort of bother me like the sound editing it's just there as a good element that works really well but i don't notice it that um consciously really yeah for me sound has become more and more and music has become more and more uh, i i pay so much more mm. attention to it now than i used to no. it was in the back background and now i really realize how much sound affects the way mm. in which we see no. a certain um scene mm. for example with because sound it, editing and sound mixing it's always difficult also because it's there's though there are those two categories that most viewers don't know how to separate mm. them no. in any way mm. um and so i've uh, in a few uh, in, in a few years that they've made the academy uh, academy awards there's been like they've had examples of how that mm. shit works yeah. this year it they didn't they mm. didn't have that but they've had sort of short excerpts of film trying to uh, clarify what that means yeah. uh, and that's i think it's been really helpful sound editing refers to the actual recording and creation of sounds not only sounds recorded on set but also sounds that are recorded separately this includes foley meaning a recreation of sounds that may not be prominent on set things like footsteps and the touching of objects it also includes the creation of sounds that don't exist in real life. Once these sounds are in place, sound mixing can begin. Sound mixing refers to the process of adjusting the levels of sometimes thousands of audio layers. Dialogue, music, sound effects, everything. The sound mixer's goal is to blend sounds in order to create a soundscape that suits the needs of the film. Like editing, for example, this stuff, mm. you get to realize that if you had background sound and then mm. you have people shouting or it's an outside scene yeah. and how you play with those sound levels to make it uh, just so that you can hear the things that you're supposed to hear yeah. and try to not be distracted by the things that mm. you're not supposed to yeah. pay attention to that's that's very very difficult it is um and and that's why it's um it's an underrated uh i think underrated categories in that definitely way. And uh, I mean, sound is so important in the sense that even though I, I mean, I really rarely pay attention to it, but um, sound is something that enters your mind without your aware awareness of it, but it still has a huge effect on you, yeah. what the sound is and how, it, how the movie sounds, what the music is. But it's um, rare to have... Uh, I don't have words for these feelings that I'm feeling. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs>